In this video, we're going to show you how to set up PayPal as a gateway, which is included with Lifter LMS. So if you're going to sell your courses and you want to sell it with PayPal for either one-time payments or recurring subscription revenue, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to Lifter LMS settings in gateways. And for this, I'm going to enable sandbox mode just so that uh, we're just testing and not uh, using real money here. And you need these things, API username, API password, and API signature. Now, this first step may seem a little more complex than what you may have seen in the past with, with other PayPal integrations. This is actually the better way to do it and gives you more power with PayPal than the traditional PayPal IPN system that other plugins use. So where do I get these things? Well, all you have to do is log into your PayPal account. And from the profile menu item, you want to go to My Selling Tools, which is also over here. And then we want to get API access. This is what we're looking for right here. So you click this update link. And you want to go with uh, option two which is request API credentials. So th this is for custom websites and online stores. This is the one you're looking for. So just click this link, follow through, and you'll be able to get those credentials that you need. So let me jump back over here and show you where these go. So this is my sandbox username. And again, sandbox is for testing. Enable PayPal is for the real deal. So if you're not familiar with uh, setting up a sandbox account for testing, just Google that and you'll find more information about that. Uh, and of course, you can also just do live testing if you're comfortable with that and maybe set your course for a dollar while you get everything situated and figured out uh, and just run it with live tests for small amounts of money. So I'm pasting in my API signature, save changes. And since we are using the PayPal gateway, uh, we do need to enable PayPal. So just to be clear, uh, enable sandbox mode if you're running tests or uh, if you're just doing straight live PayPal testing, you want to leave that unchecked. So in this case, we are going to use the sandbox and again, save changes. And that is all there is to setting up PayPal so that the built-in Lifter LMS shopping cart can go to work for you right away with no third-party integrations. So you don't need a third-party shopping cart plugin to sell your courses. Now this may be a little confusing if you're looking at the side here and you see I have WooCommerce down here. That's because the website that I'm installing Lifter LMS, LMS on for this demo already had WooCommerce installed. And even though that's installed and selling other things, you can still use the Lifter LMS shopping cart as well, and they don't conflict with each other. So that's all there is to setting up PayPal.